What's going on guys? So today I've got to talk about something that I have always thought of and I'm not thought to tell you guys until right now. Um, so I used to live in Arkansas. I used to be very narrow-minded in the car market. I would stick to very few things. I'd only stick to, you know, trucks, SUVs. And recently, as a lot of you guys may know, I moved to Arizona and it changed my viewpoint basically forever on a lot of cars, but specifically the, the brand that I hated the most. And that was not the McLaren, not Nissan, not Maserati, not Porsche, but a freaking BMW. I hated their guts. I hated every car. I wouldn't give them a chance. I didn't care which one it was. The M4, the M3, 335i, 135i, 128i. I did not care. I hated them. And it was all because of what I was told when I was younger. I would hear all these dealers at the auctions say so many negative things about them. And I had no idea that there was such a strong fan base for certain BMWs. I understood that some were trash, and I, but I thought all of them were trash. And so I just wanna share this story about how it's very, very important to not just listen to one or two people's or even three or four or five per people's opinion until you really hear the whole crowd. And you really wanna be open-minded, especially in this market, and that is not what I was. And I just wanna share that with you guys, that how important that is, because I've seen my buddies here in Arizona make a huge amount of profit being cautious, being careful, and understanding what which BMW they were buying, and then they would sell it for a profit and make $1,500 all the way up to $5,000 profit on these cars that I was passing up at the dealership. And it's just crazy to me that I was being like that based off other people's opinion. And um, you know, when I could have been capitalizing on this at the car auction, you know, selling them at the dealership uh, back home in Arkansas, and you know. It was just frowned upon if you bought a BMW, you were basically just screwed in a sense. And um, you know, this is literally me just telling a story um, for this video again, guys. But it is so important, I cannot stress it enough. Every car has the potential to make money off of. Don't just listen to one person's opinion. Any car for the right deal can be a good buy. But you always wanna keep your audience as large as possible. So I knew that and I started researching which BMW sold the best. I wanna take you inside and show you my computer screen and really just explain a little bit more about what I mean by I found a couple BMWs that I really fell in love with after moving here that I never would have thought twice about in Arkansas and I probably overlooked hundreds and hundreds of good deals at the car auction because I was being so narrow-minded and listening to everybody else. So come inside, check this out, and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about and explain some situations with my friends in this friend group in Arizona uh, that I now have and I'm so grateful for. But come inside, check this out, and I'll show you guys just a little bit closer exactly what I mean. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. My good friend rolled up. Check it out. He's also one of the reasons why I changed my mind for BMW. Look at this car. This is basically the car. My feet are on fire. Oh my God. Ah, ah. What is this car, guys? This is literally the car um, or the model that changed my whole viewpoint on BMW. It is a dual exhaust. So that tells you what from the factory if it's dual exhaust. It's a 335i single turbo. 335i so it's not the twin stock turbos this thing has about 600 horsepower and apparently the motors i think they're n54 motors on these 335i's are bulletproof things on the outside of them tend to break but internally they're absolutely bulletproof and you know that's what i wanted to show you guys i'm gonna go inside like i said before and show you my screen he rolled up uh without warning and I wanted to show you guys that car. So check this out. Let me go inside. McLaren, super sick. Look at that car. Unreal. $300,000 car, guys. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Ricky's got, Ricky's balling out. Ricky's, Ricky's doing it. They got the GTR. Sick car too. Honestly, I'd love to have this. See if it'll even open. Ooh, the red interior. So clean. We're gonna go inside. And I'll show you guys, talk about it a little bit better. And, you know, show my computer screen a little bit. All right, guys. So you know how I was talking about BMW, right? There's one model in particular that I've already showed you that's got me hooked and I'm going to show you from year to year which one I'm talking about right now. Boom! 2007 to 2010 335i. I've been on the hunt for one of these. I've always wanted one um, but this car and the friends that surround me today are the ones that changed my opinion on BMW itself. Um, 
I can't believe that I overlooked these so many times. And um, you know, they do do well with resale for a lot of different reasons. Yes, they can be harder to sell um, if they're really modded out, but I've seen them sell quickly, and I know this from offering from offering um, you know prices on OfferUp because it notifies you every time one sells. So when I lowball one, I'll lowball probably 20. If I lowball 20 in one day, um, in a week, eight out of the 20 sell. Um, and so I know that they're selling because of that reason. And guys, I would not have known this if it was not for my friends explaining to me which ones were in demand, what were they looking for? Were they looking for the red interior on the 07 2010? Is the stick shift or is the automatic more desirable? And you know, with the help of my friends that surround me today, um, I now am getting a better understanding of this particular car. A couple of our friends have had like 128 eyes and stuff like that, but I'm really narrowing in on these 335 eyes. But you know, this in general changes my whole perspective on BMW and what I think about them now compared to what I thought about them then. Um, you know, I was going to show you guys my screen and really dive deep into it, but then I was thinking like, what am I actually going to do? And I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I could do just telling you guys right here and then just pointing back to it every so often. So uh, again, please do not take people's opinions so seriously, especially in this market. It's going to be based off one maybe issue that they had, or maybe they had a BMW that had a lot of issues and it's going to change your whole opinion and tell you to stay away from it completely and entirely. Uh, when you could actually make money from these cars, I believe we had a 335i of one of our buddies and I think he paid 5,000 for it and sold it for 8,500 based off the miles. What he knew typically goes bad on them like the water pump and all that extra stuff. I'm sure you guys that are BMW lovers know a, lot, a little bit more than I do about them. Um, but he was able to profit about $3,000 on one of these cars and I never would have bought one of these uh, a year ago today. And so I just want to take this time to show you these cars, the two door coupes, the four doors, the six speeds, the automatics, the tuned ones, the single turbo one, all of them. I just wanted to you know, tell you guys that if you are looking, if you are listening to just your family members, people that you know, um, you know, it can really skew your opinion on things uh, that could actually still make you money. So again, this video is literally just me explaining my story and I just want to tell you guys for the right price, anything is a good deal. That's what we teach in the group chat. That's what we teach uh, with the Flipping Wheels team. And you know, of course, like I always say in all my videos, if you guys want to learn more about that, literally just click that first link down below. It's worth the five extra minutes of your time to just learn a little bit more about this market that you could potentially make an extra thousand dollars a month in up to five thousand dollars a month depending on how aggressive you want to go and if you want to pursue it as a full-time career um, you actually can make twenty thousand dollars a month if you really want to pursue it uh, but I love doing it I love helping people so much give me a comment down below if you guys like BMW if you hate them which ones are your favorite and uh, what you guys think about them in general I'd love to know y'all's opinion and see what you guys think and yeah that's really just it so thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video